<laughs> uh, my name is Joe Linton, and I'm one of the organizers of Seek Olivia. All right, so um, I don't know. Can you put this in perspective uh, uh, in a in a way that uh, in, in a new way? <laughs> <laughs> We're taking over the streets, and uh, I'm never giving them back. <laughs> Great. Uh, <laughs> you get it this. And then the city really knows it, so that's why they, that's why we have such a hard time like negotiating with them. But right. no, the city is a partner on this. There's uh, nonprofit uh, folks, and uh, working with the, the mayor has been a real leader on this, and and really made it possible. The mayor went down to um, Mexico City, and. Um, he, uh, he saw the Via Reforma, they do, they close every Sunday, they close that main street in the middle of the city and people go out and walk and ride a bike and, uh, and then uh, he came back to LA and said, hey, uh, can we do this here? Or no, he didn't say, can we do it here? He's the mayor. He said, let's do this here. And, uh, and so his staff said, oh yeah, there's some bike activists that are, that are working on this. Uh, and so they worked with us and we, we raised a bunch of funds from foundations and uh, donors, individuals, and and wherever we could get. And uh, the city raised some money to the paper their end of it, and uh, and we worked together. And we got seven and a half miles of open streets for uh, for five hours. So, what's the hope that um, this five hours can continue? Because this doesn't seem like a terrible thing. And no, it's, it looks pretty wonderful to me. Um, the, uh, the hope is, I mean, the hope is that we get through today and that it's a big success and that's been my focus and that like at seven o'clock today we can talk about what's next. But what we've been saying though is that we would, um, <laughs> I love seeing kids riding bikes in downtown Los Angeles. It's, yeah. it's like, Thank you. yeah. <laughs> so, Good. Well, we want to do it monthly or weekly at some point. So, uh, you know, keep an eye on us and yeah. make a donation, <laughs> and uh, and we'll we'll make it work. Who's financing all these city uh, employees? The the mayor's office got some outside funding and used some of the. There's like an environmental affairs trust fund. Uh -huh. um, so they um, they were able to. You know, the city's whatever been the general fund is really broke, but yeah. they were able to find sort of outside funds. To make it happen, they it was about 120,000 on the city's part, and we raised. Um, I think we're up to like 90,000 for our for the nonprofit part. We did all the outreach and permitting and insurance and all the porta potties and uh, you know all this stuff. So, um, but uh, but it's really it is a partnership with with the city and and the nonprofit bicycle folks. Well, thanks for coming. So, so is, there, is there hope for the city of L.A.? Yeah, there's hope for the city of L.A. I mean, you know, if there wasn't hope, we'd just pitch it in and slit our wrists, right? But, um, I, no, I think, you know, the... I don't want to sound too, like, inevitableist, but uh, I think that if we... Hey, Oren! Cool. Uh, my friend's doing an interview that they've got these cameras on. Oh my god, <laughs> sorry. All right, well, I wanted to interrupt you okay. then. It's okay. I'm gonna, how long do you want to do this? Just two more minutes. Okay, I'm going to just keep biking down to the little token. I'll turn around or whatever. Okay. I mean, I'll just enjoy. Don't, yeah, uh, exactly. Yeah, we're, okay. We're about, we're going that way. We're okay. Um, yeah, well, so the, the hope is, I mean, something, something I would say in terms of the future of the city and, and this event is that we're hoping that people will... Um, people who aren't that comfortable biking in Los Angeles will try it on a Sunday in a, in a safe streets environment and will like it and then we'll try biking to work on Monday or something you know or maybe you know a couple weeks from now or something so um, so that's that's the thought is that this is sort of we say the gateway drug you know that we we um, get people excited about ice cream show people how easy it is um, and kind of just uh, 
you know, trick them into into really being bicyclists someday again, you know. And is it a gateway drug into just cycling, or is it a gateway drug into taking more of a role in caring for the city and being a part of it? I think, uh, you know, it, I, I think that... I, I mean, I hope both, but I mean, I, I think that w when I talk to people and I say, you know, the earth is going to overheat in 10 years and your kids are going to die, you know, that doesn't motivate people to change their ways. And when I get people up on a bike and they're like, wow, that's easy and fun and cool and not as stressful as being in a car, um, that works better to sell them in a, in a, like a positive way, you know? And so I think that, I mean, I, I think it, I think people on bikes, um, get to know their city and become a part of their city and interact with their city in a way um, that's that's better and healthier um, but uh, but I think it's not I think if you try to sell it to people if you try to say do your duty ride a bike um, it, it's it just won't it's not gonna go anywhere <laughs> is my hunch right so